Hello, Intergoast here, and back with another ZX Spectrum programming video. And this joins on from the last video, really, where we were doing some high resolution graphics using uh, plot and draw commands. Now, I'm using those commands to make a program which you can draw your own pictures on. So, a bit like a, well, actually, this is called Sketchpad. So, I'll run through this quick program here and show you how to make your own sort of drawing program. So first line, you've got 10 input. So it's asking the user to input something. It's gonna print the word ink with a space and it will have a flashing cursor waiting for a number. Whatever number is put in, it will be put for the letter I. So basically this is asking the user to choose what color ink they want to use. Next line, it will set the border to purple, the paper to black, and then the ink to whatever was chosen, and clear the screen. It will then set a pixel at this plotted point, which is 25 across and 25 up, so it'd be down here somewhere. So that's where the picture will start. Next, we're using the let command, so let the character X equal 5 and this is how many pixels are going to be drawn when we um, take the next input so here in the next line we've got another input so we're asking the user to key in something and this time we're asking for a string now a string is a letter followed by this sort of dollar sign and what a string is is instead of um, like up here it's just asking for a single number to be added a string can be any number of letters or numbers um, from one to whatever um, encased in these quotation marks so you could have like a whole word um, typed in and it will make the program do something so that's um, in the next line so if the string which is entered is the letter U, it will then draw pixels in a line um, 5 going up. If it is D, then it will draw pixels in a line going 5 down. If it is an R, then it will draw pixels in a line going to the right. And if it is an L, it will draw uh, pixels 5 going left. And as you can sort of see, it's drawing up, down, left or right. And then it's going back to 50. So a circle background asking for another input. And the result is quite clever. So we run it. It's asking what colour ink we want. So if we do 6 for yellow. It's now put that yellow dot here down the bottom. And it's asking for... A string input because it's got the two quotations so you could type anything in here but if you type something which it doesn't recognize it'll just loop back around until you put in a command it does recognize so if we do up it draws a line going up R for right D for down and uh, L for left and as you can see we can draw whatever we want so it's a nice little program to draw on the screen and it shows um, that you can put in any sort of input you want and it will execute that part of the program. Now to get out of these programs, because you can't just press the space key to break, you have to arrow to the right, delete these and then you have to use the um, stop command which is um, on my keyboard it's control and A and that will stop the program so there we go that is the sketchpad program I hope you like that please remember to thumb up the video if you liked it and I'll do another video soon thanks for watching